something for this because no. Uh, this man had a TV show, and unbelievably, it got recommissioned, and now he's famous. The world has gone mad. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Rinder. Yay! Good morning, Rob. Good morning. How are you? Well, how are you? Yeah, very well, thanks. How's the Kim Jong Un of the radio? <laughs> Seriously, let me get straight into this. Yeah. Are you okay? You in terror. Are you okay? How are you feeling? Um, were, were you ill? You were ill recently, weren't you? Yeah, I was not feeling terrible. How did you know? Have you been checking in with me? No, because I invited you to my birthday drinks, and you said yes, I'll be there, and you didn't even bother showing up, or then oh. texting me saying sorry, I'm not going to make it now. So you must have been really well, badly sick. I was very sick. glad that you were fifty. Mm -hmm, Thirty. Um, and plus VAT. 30. We can come out. 30. And you went to Amsterdam, I understand. I yes. did, yeah. But let's go back to the fact that you didn't show up to my drinks and you didn't bother sending me a text. I was deeply unwell. Hang on. How's deeply unwell? Deeply, sufficiently unwell not to be able to get out of bed. But had I, I would have almost certainly been at uh, the pub, whereas I understand it, everybody got one free round of drinks. So that was generous of you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> one free round of drinks that starts at seven and ends at one in the morning. That's right. Fiftieth birthday. Thirtieth birthday. How are you feeling being half a century? Thirty years old, I am. <laughs> Who was Prime Minister when you were born? Do you know? <laughs> have you thought about that? Just think for a second. There she goes. I mean, <laughs> let it all out now. It was, it was even before the winter of discontent. Let it all out now, love. <laughs> Here we Britain go. It was in decline, and then Chris Moyles came forth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, your hair, mm -hmm. I am delighting in it. Great. You know, they say... Yeah. Um, what do they say, Robert? <laughs> imitation is the greatest form of flattery. Every time I come in, you look increasingly like me, and I heard you sound like me. Couldn't do the pressure again. Now, you, you say that... You've got a bit of stubble on your face. Yeah. Congratulations. I know you've been growing that since we met five, six years ago. Mm. It's finally starting to show. You're starting to look, and mm. you're like this, you're starting to look like a man. Don't be ridiculous. Why do you say things? It's almost if you want to get yourself into silly trouble. What's wrong with that? What are you talking about? I often grow stubble. I like the rugged look. I've never seen you with stubble ever. You've both got a bit of stubble now. A little bit, haven't you? A bit. I shaved yesterday. Oh, did oh, yeah. you? That's how, that's, but that's how much testosterone I've got, though. I literally, I can shave. By the time I got to the other side of my face, I've already got a full beard on the bit that I just shaved mm. off. You've I'm such a ruddy bloke. You know, anybody that needs outwardly to do that has about as much testosterone as Theresa May. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I will take the compliment. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I love the black as well. What People black? People can't, don't they look at you enough? You're, what you're black? So, the black that you're wearing, the funereal chic. It's not with black. The blonde. What colour is it? It's a burgle of burgundy. Mm. Oh, I can't see what I mean. Are you colour Every single time, it's a deliberate that's provocation not... as we go into the middle class cul-de-sac. Hold on, that's so you, black. You, you know, you end up famous on the radio, go, oh, don't worry, I've changed. You know, I haven't changed, I haven't changed. <laughs> I'm completely as I was. Go into a pub, I bet you, hang on, I'll give you uh, 50 pounds to some charity, not that you do much of that. And... Announce to somebody in Leeds where you're allegedly from, from, you know, clawed yourself out of some sort of estuary or mine, all nonsense, of course, <laughs> and say, my shirt's not black, it's burgundy. And Do you think this is say, black? Seriously, I'm being serious now. It's, uh, I mean, it's... What colour is Don black? What, what's Don wearing? Uh, he's wearing black. You're wearing a species of, of black. Don't, is listen, that burgundy? I, Pepper, you, you, you couldn't be the judge. It yeah. is a burgundy. I yeah, in your know. face, judge. She works for you, wouldn't Yeah, it? no yeah. further questions. Yeah. Case, <laughs> case closed. Send him down. <laughs> Send him down. He wasn't even a judge. He does this Judge Rinder thing. I'm saying he wasn't even a judge. He was a barrister. Sorry, I used to sit on arbitrations. What are you talking no about? No one knows what that means, Move though, Robert. On. No one knows what an arbitration means. That's, that's what, what they think when they kill animals in the farm where they kill animals. That's quite funny. Thank you. <laughs> and fridge. I, I was saying earlier this morning, I asked you once what you did. I was to talk me through exactly what you did. <laughs> and and I zoned out. I that's massively something. zoned out. Oh. No, that's true. I, like, as soon as we got onto words of three syllables, I could see you disappearing <laughs> into a coma. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he, did, he did scary things in, in scary countries. Yeah. Where he was doing, th but I don't, I, I can't tell you what it was. I heard a bit of it. Yeah, I did. No, I, no, I tried. I did try, but it was just so right. It was so in depth the answer. Yeah. You and know, he, you know when you say to someone, "Hey, how are you?" Yeah. You don't care. 
Right. You just go, yeah, so, so what did you do? I'm waiting for him to go, well, as a barrister, you do this, this, and this, and that's different to a judge because they do that, that, and that. Right. You go, okay, fine. Oh, he's going, well, in 1979, and then I was in Burma, and then blah, 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 and I'm like, oh, Lord, it goes on. Sorry, is someone texting you? I'm, I'm distracting you from your phone? I'm no, no, no. It was a veritable thrill ride. It was much like our date. It wasn't um, a date. It, have you only ever been out together once? Twice. Oh. It's twice. I, I, I never, thought it was twice. And never yeah. again. Twice. You said you, once. Exactly. Twice. Why did you say once? Because I blanked out the second time. Oh. You didn't. Mm -hmm. You loved every minute of it. We actually had a really good time. We talked about the fun. time that uh, she was in a musical. And it was the only time that, honestly, she awoke through he, they, it, awoke. <laughs> and it was. You think I'm, you know, Cameron, I heard what you're saying about how difficult or not difficult it is to run that far, and I'm going to be doing a 250 kilometer mince nonsense. <laughs> and I never said the M word. I. Um, you know, have run a 312, a 258 marathon, madam. Anyway, let's pop that for a second. Uh, the only time, I was talking about international law, do, which he was vaguely infused by, away. like a bad student, but like a keen one. Mm. You know, I felt like the benevolent headmistress of a school for our difficult students, but, you know, I just about broke through. But ask him about him. <gasps> and does oh, he come alive? You. And the next moment, when he oh. was talking about the time when um, he was in Joseph in his Technicolor dream coat, so we forget about it. <gasps> it was that was the moment. And he did the song. What were you? You, you were the Pharaoh, weren't you? Herod. <laughs> Herod. Yeah. Give us a. And, and you know when it's sort of everything's a bit embarrassing <laughs> when you're on a date and someone says, and then I sang this and he gave me a blast and we were sitting outside. I did not explain He sang I did not give him a blast. Go on. I absolutely did. No, we'd had a few drinks and I did not give him a blast. Give us a bit of Joseph and his technical. I'll give you, an, I'll give you a bit right now. You, how, you much, go, how about that? <laughs> Two bits. <laughs> Just tell me how much you enjoyed being in a musical. I very much enjoyed being in the musical. Oh, thank it, you. Did you enjoy being in Jesus Christ from start? That's right. You they have another, just that's don't just right. take it away from us. What was your favourite bit about getting all dressed up and doing jazz hands in front of a crowd? In the jazz it, hands. Christopher. To do jazz hands. <laughs> I was Look, brilliant. It's all this sort of pretense about his Android phone Android Lloyd Webber personally it. asked me and then said I was the best Herod he'd ever seen. Thank you very much. You, uh, you were um, excellent. I yeah. watched I it. I mean, he, he had glaucoma at the time, so it was, it was just a blur. <laughs> but he still <laughs> said those words to me. What do you so. love about singing and dancing most? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's just I feel free. Yeah, I feel free. You're like the Billy Elliot of Leeds. That's right. Yeah, you've mm. always said that, haven't you? <laughs> you did Strictly. I did, yeah. yeah don't be giving it to me about good. singing and dancing. You're very good, Mr. Lee. Oh, thank you. That's you're really very good. I didn't yeah, watch it. I didn't watch it, though, yeah. What? You yeah, did, weeps. I didn't, because you were on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're going for a jog. Let's have a look at this. Yeah. So, <laughs> you're doing Marathon de Sables. Marathon with, de Sables. That's what I said, in the Sahara Desert. Do you speak mm. another language? We. We. Hello, Messi. Petit peu. Do, do the brother sister thing is gone. Oh, do that. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Well, what are those glasses? J'ai un frère, mm -hmm. je n'ai pas de soeur. Oh, yeah, you got to shake Henry. Do it. Thank, Thank you. you. That's good. It's very good. What? Do you though? Do you have a brother? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's why I just said it then in French. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> good, good. Um, good bon. So I put my glasses on so I can read every bit of his jog that he's going on. Right. He's going mm. on a wonder jog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And you've recruited a load of blokes from the army to run with you. I, 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 of course you have. To this. It's literally, it's, it, it, your life is like a carry-on movie. It really is. It's liable of yours. Will they be playing the Benny Hill theme tune as you're running around the desert with all the men in uniform? Do, next year, why don't you come? With all of your talk, madam. <laughs> I was <laughs> at the... Uh, I, I, I've become, um, uh, well, a, a lieutenant... Behave yourself. Sorry. I've become a lieutenant colonel commandant, appointed by His Majesty the King, of the Royal Corps of Army Musicians. And um, I got drunk at one of their events. And I put a <laughs> uniform... Which is... What? It's not playing the tri triangle while the men go over the top. It's extremely important. And I got drunk with uh, one of their colonels and uh, agreed to, to do this. <laughs> and I've run a bunch of marathons, including across Namibia, and, and as you know, love running. And um, this is for the Army Benevolent Fund. And I love the Army. What mm. can I say? And it's got nothing to do with your silly, crass innuendos, madam. Have not you recruited a team from the British Army to run Yeah, including with you? Heather Stanning, who's a gold medalist uh, rower. Um, 
But you know, not exactly the crowd that you're saying I'm interested in. I did, what did I say? I didn't say You said that I, I was looking for scafolders <laughs> from your audience. And there are two different things. Right. Number I listen one, to your show you, every single day and then have to go have you recruited, to make myself less in, Have you recruited <laughs> people from the British Army to run with you, yes or no? no we are running alongside, yes or, which I haven't recruited right. them. It says he. It's not conscription. And secondly, on a separate level, <laughs> do you like an intelligent scaffolder? Yes. There you go. So see, they're all, the facts are facts. No, that is true. This has all been fact checked. And we're running for the um, Army Benevolent Fund, which right. is 80 years old, and, you know, it's a... Uh, Would it, it not it, just be easier to just mm. write a check? Just write him a check for 250 quid. No, because he wouldn't get a sense of, you know, what the army do and, you know, how extraordinary they are. Why are the army running across the desert? Because they do that sort of thing, but also because it's about celebrating who the army is. You know, we talk about the differences we have between us. Be serious for a second. I imagine that you're not on a date and stay awake for a second, darling. I know it's difficult. <laughs> breathe in clever, breathe out <laughs> indifference for a second. Go on, then. Here we go. <laughs> You know, the army is such uh, a proud bastion of social mobility, of everybody across the country coming together, of every background to go and defend our freedom. Stop pretending that you don't care. It's so faux. No, I love you. Know, I, one listen. of the worst things you do is this veneer of thick when everybody knows how utterly intelligent you are and how I don't have veneers of thick. Thank you very much. These are my own. Anyway, and I'm really proud of, of the army. I think we mm. all should be. People know I so... Am. And we yes. know so little about them. I used to um, do cases involving the military and realise just how little I know and how amazing it is that these uh, men and women are prepared to give the ultimate sacrifice to keep us free, right? So it's something that we can all celebrate in a time when we're all shouting and divide at each other. It's the one thing that we can unite around. So that's why I'm supporting them. And they're 80 years old and hoping to raise as much money as possible. So go to um, Rinder's Run, if you don't mind, um, and support us. Um, they supported last year. The youngest was seven and the oldest was 102. So everybody in the army family... And what an amazing There's way no to... There's no 102 year olds in the army. 102? Well, 103 actually. Well, they wow. were in the army. It's the wow. Benevolent Fund. It supports Yeah, yeah. So, right, Rund, right, cool. let me have a look. Renders Run. Mm -hmm. Now, is this what they're just giving? Is the army bene Benevolent Fund? Yeah. What's the best one to go to? Uh, d well, it's Renders Run, uh, Just Giving. Thank you. Okay, all right. right. So are you going to, how much are you going to give? Um, how many miles is it? Two, well, it's 250 kilometers. I heard you, by the way, say it's no, that hold far. on, hold on. How many it's miles so is it? Far. It's about 155. Right, Thank okay, I'll, I'll put me down for £10 fix. <laughs> <laughs> You've raised two thousand four hundred pounds. Well, that's because I haven't started yet. No. Two thousand four hundred. I'm not being funny. You could raise more money outside Leicester Square, Buskin. What do you think I'm doing here, sitting with you? Annoying me? My health. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here for my health. Oh, I'm on just, on the pa go to the top of that page, please, and zoom in under Rinder's run to the words Rob Rinder has recruited a team <laughs> from the British Army to take on the toughest foot race on earth this April. You have recruited. A team, have you not? Answer the question! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Is it wrong to say when you did that? You we can't handle it. the truth! This is a very Tom Cruise -y. I'm feeling mildly aroused. I was Jack <laughs> Nicholson. <laughs> Jack Nicholson I was being. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, oh, that's right. Yes, yes. Marathon disables. Disable. Why can't you say it? What Why difference you pretend does it make? You keep promise to invite me to, to Leeds, but you haven't been for so long. Oh, well, well why, why? Tomorrow. Let's go to Leeds tomorrow. I'll tell you what. You go. I'll meet you there. Why don't you go back anymore? What are you worried about? Judge, Rind Judge Rinder's opening titles were shot in Leeds. That's right, in the uh, town hall. Yeah, oh, were right. they? Yeah, they oh, were. I didn't yeah. know that. He pretended it was his house. Right. <laughs> he recognised <Yeah. laughs> I did recognise the architecture, actually. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> so this is... Rind now, listen. It let's is brutal. Let's get you some money, brutal. because this is, this is embarrassing for you. Mm. $2,400. Well, you got paid but more than that to do the midnight game show on McIntyre. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Now, the money is going to the <laughs> Army Benevolent Fund. Now, that's, that's a worthwhile charity. Yeah, the Army do an amazing job, we know that. When, I'm, when, Dom, when, when the day comes, when the zombie invasion comes and Dominic and I are hit behind the sofa. Absolutely yeah. right. And they are out there saving our asses. What are you going to do in the event yeah. of that? You've got no transferable Absol skills. In the, you'd have to be a hostage. I've got flat feet as well, so I can't join the Army. Yeah. So. <laughs> 
Anyway, it's also 80 uh, years since they were founded mm. as well. That's um, nice. That's good. Oh, and um, it's, it's a completely mad run. It's the toughest uh, foot race on the face of somebody's, the earth. Wow. Somebody's texted in saying his mm. friend Dan did it in yeah. 2017 and his shoes melted on day three. <gasps> yeah. Now, I'm come on. a bit worried about that. Yeah, you know when your shoes melted. No. Right? But I've got my equipment. I'm, right. I'm, I'm all ready to go. Do you really think, I was listening to you outside, do you think I looked um, at a portfolio of big men and went, right, that one will do, <laughs> not that one, not that one. Yeah. And stone, is that really what you think? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. You know what imagination is so in the sewer. And it's not even so, like... So tell us how it, how it Not even looking up at the stars. So how did it work? Well, um, they got together and asked um, who might be um, able, willing and prepared to do such a difficult, challenging physical race. Mm. Um, and um, they put that team together. What was the last bit of charity you did? Me? You're on the show, aren't you? No. no. <laughs> yeah. That's quite good, though, isn't it? <laughs> the problem is, every time I get upset with her, him, they, it, I always... So I'm so delighted by how quick she is. You're so offensive. You're it's, offensive. You are so heterophobic. <laughs> Oh, no, it's deliberately target heterophobia. It's <laughs> entirely at you. Get it right, Chris. Yeah. I um, delight in everybody except you. Now, Render's Run, is this what I'm looking up? Render's Run. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, just giving. Run. Mm. Okay, so yeah. Render's Run, if you search that, it comes up straight away on the Just Giving page. So you go there, yeah. and it tells you how much money he's yeah. raised so far, which is embarrassing. Support long. the army. And, you know, it, it's one of those things, as I say, I really care about this. It's, um, what should I give? One pound fifty? That'll be generous for you. Thank you. What are you talking about? Um, I do want to ask you your salary. Mm -hmm. Do you know, all right, then, all right, fine. Two yeah, pounds. Happy you don't think. <laughs> <laughs> High donation from public view. I will do no such thing. Chris no, you, you do it. And then, oh, add a message to your donation. Mm -hmm. um, you'll never do it. <laughs> Okay, and yeah. then uh, continue. You know, lots of the army listen. To Charities received twenty five. Oh, gift aid, lovely. That's good. I agree and confirm for a bit of gift aid. Darling, there's a targeted com compliment coming your way. It doesn't happen all the time. Da -da 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 no, because most of the time you're surrounded by some sycophants who sort of I've seen you at the pub. They sort of walk up to you, you know, as if they might be approaching a dictator from some tin pot clip past the, the world. Why, why are you in the pub? And they walk up to go, oh, hello, I like radio, and then he's sort of sweet. Hello, I like radio. And benevolent, and they. <laughs> love him right. and she sits there lording it over it's so Only because all the people who like you can't mm. get out of the home to come and say to you how much they <laughs> love your show. <laughs> oh, we love to just render love it. I watch it every day Well, Matron puts it on and we can't find the remote, so... The you know. absolute snobbery. James, can you find the, uh, the you donations on his page? Because I have donated and I've put my Thank name on there. I've not hidden it. And to whoever you are, whatever background, you can um, support the Mitchie. And I... There you go. <laughs> More than... Have Here it is there. Look, Chris Moyles... <laughs> Two pound plus fifty p to gift aid. You'll never do it. <laughs> Two pounds. <laughs> you, and you are welcome. That's you, what you think of our military. You should be no, no, you should no. Be court martial. It's what I think of you. <laughs> And court by the, Marshall. And by the way, two pounds is the minimum you can donate. I'm <laughs> I tried to do a pound. <laughs> no, I've, do I've donated and I've hidden my donation. That's, I a don't. That's a complete lie. I have, I swear to God. Can we just talk about who peroxides your hair? I'm absolutely fascinated. Is it, inverted commas, Tiff, who keeps being on holiday every time I want to meet her? <laughs> it, it, Where it, is uh, Tiff? It oh, is Hamilton. She's, she's Hamilton. skiing, she's not around at the moment. I met her. There you go, know. look, see? Don't read that. I've just given, I've given money. There you are. So oh, well done. Thank you. That's, that's oh. mildly generous of you. That, no, that is good. And given all of the other, given all of the other charities, cow. Been, you know, why haven't, actually, it's amazing after all of your years of service to broadcasting, you haven't got an honour of any kind. I know, and it really is, and you've been I'm going to farted about on television <laughs> with, your, with your gavel, and you get an MBE. <laughs> it is absolutely disgusting. Do you we know the money I've in. raised for Comet Relief over the years? The joy I've brought to <laughs> millions of people, oh. and you, you appear on TV, mm -hmm. order, order, send her down, and that's it, you get an MBE, please. What do you think my you urine. You should, get a, you should get a knighthood or a dame. I should. Dave, what about an honorary one? Sir Chris Miles, I should be. <laughs> well, what you could do... You've got we... one, June Sarpong's got one, the whole world has gone mad. I blame Brexit. Yeah, given how, you know, you know, how embarrassed and ashamed you are of where you're from, you could buy a little bit of land in Scotland and make yourself a lord. You could be Lord Chris Miles. I own an acre of land on the moon. Really? Yeah, I bought that it. That will a, come of use. I bought it in a supermarket once. <laughs> it's legally binding. <laughs>
You, you probably did do that. <laughs> I did do that. He, he, Can he we come out? And you, let's say, you, because you've gone blonde, yeah. as I say, in a sweet little on did that a few years movie. ago, though. You've seen it before, Mark. No, no, I know, but you've kept it up. And I wonder, who does it for you? Do you go to a Hamilton. Hamilton, or, Hamilton does it. He also does Boy George's. And he bleaches him as well. Hamilton, the sort of, who, Hamilton is your hairdresser. He just, he comes around and he bleaches my hair, yeah. Does he? <laughs> he does. Wait, let's, let, let's picture the scene in your, you know, but, no but doubt. But that's what I said about George is true. He does George's hair as well and bleaches well, downstairs. Boy George. Mm. Well, boy George is boy George. Mm. I mean, he's, you know. George said that in the jungle. He's a denizen of, of style. He's a what? Uh, never mind. Right. And the point, he comes around to your house. Yeah. And you get all done with your, you know, how many pairs of trainers she's got? Oh. And matches, and, and they all get matched. If yeah. people only knew. Yeah, I have a left one and a right one. Ridiculous. How fast? How many? You've got more shoes than Imelda Marcos. <laughs> we, I've just built a new shoe cupboard actually at home. I'm very proud of it. What, what gives you joy about all of this? What, you know, about this choice. Well, not just that. I mean, are you. <laughs> well, 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 you sort of look back. You know, what are you wearing realize? on your feet? Let me have a little look. I'm wearing um, browns. I'm going to a terribly important meeting. Let's have a look. I'm going to my chambers. I'm wearing oh. brown shoes. Dear. What are you in? Have you heard of the word polish, dear? No, they're, they're, um, delicately aged. Like you. Like now you were <laughs> And I heard a rumour. Just pause for a second, it's very important. No. I heard a rumour that when you went to, um, Amsterdam, yeah. I was mm. desperately interested in what you got up to there. Right. Apparently it was all legal within Holland. Um, <laughs> a, a, am I right? Yeah. That you visited a peep show? Yes, correct. Yeah. Um, who did you go with? <laughs> And there was Tiff and myself in one booth, yeah. Dominic and Pippa in another, yeah. and James and Captain in the booth next door to us. What was it about the peep show that sort of excited you, that made you think, I'm going to go to a peep show? So many other things on offer. You could have gone to the... We, walk, we walked past the, the Rifles Museum. Place. Tiff was the one who's, who said, come on, we're on in Amsterdam, you've got to yeah. go to a peep show. So we just wanted to, when I just wanted to go to the pub. Wasn't it? And we went. <laughs> you, you put, listen, it's not, don't be so childish. This is grown up. You put your money, you, you put your euro in the slot and the curtains open. And... <laughs> And then you, what's wrong with you? Calm down. And then you see this very bored looking woman who looks very uncomfortable on, yeah. an, on an old rug. She's very bored. And then after a couple of minutes it closed and then we went to the pub. Yeah. It was very disappointing. Now, we're going to go to the banana bar, but they wanted 30, 40 euros a head. 40 euros wanted. to get in. We got very northern and went yes. something, so we are right, we'll go We went to the Rudy Museum, didn't we? Yeah, we went to the yeah. Sex yeah. Museum. That's what Did we you find out anything that you weren't aware of? Yes, I found out what sex is. <laughs> um, no, well, not really. What do you want me to plug before? Because we've got, we've got 30 seconds uh, to wrap this up. The Trial. The oh, yeah, my no, book. the next book. Oh, oh his yeah. courtroom novel, The Trial, yeah. is released. Did well, you read it? Do you need to leave? Can we, can just, we can continue after the news. We can wrap it up after the news. Should we do that? Can um, you I'd stay love for to five minutes? with you. Well, well, I've five got minutes. thoughts. Okay. Well, don't tell me those thoughts, okay. please. Um, let me take a break. Let's do the news, and then we'll come back, and then we'll... we'll We'll finish off Robert Render Very with good. a plug for his book in just a minute. Chris Miles Show. God Lord help me. From Global's Newsroom for Radio X, I'm Dominic Byrne. You may have heard Rob Brinder laugh during the news. I apologise about that because that was my fault. Um, I, when he was looking at his phone, I took a picture of him and I was flicking the V's in the photo. Right. Then sent it to him and he just looked, oh, I got a text and just saw a picture of me flicking the V's. <laughs> right. Okay. And he, he chortled because he finds me very amusing. This is Radio X. From Global. I do and your microphone's not on. <laughs> <laughs> Give me all you got, you got nothing. The Chris Miles Show. You got nothing. <laughs> Simon from Newport has been on saying, Morning, I've already read Rob's first book and pre-ordered the second. A brilliant read, says uh, Simon. He's never read a book before in his life, but mm. for the Beano, clearly. <laughs> uh, this is, of course, your book, The Trial. Mm -hmm. Released June 2023. Yeah. Um, and I believe it says here, one murder, one impossible case. Who is guilty? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you'd be this funny if I lived with you or get old quickly. <laughs> I don't play jingles at home. Do you know what I mean? No, no that'd be weird. that would be weird, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm making dinner tonight. I don't care. <laughs> there wouldn't be any of that. <laughs> Number one Sunday Times bestseller. I know, for quite some time. And um, good, Christopher promises really, in fact... I'm a two-time Sunday Times bestselling author, by yes, the way. Yes, you are, yeah. Two, oh, yes, two what, times. I mean, let's just... Are you two times or one? Hang on a second. Just one. From my memory, which is not inconsiderably good, I 
recall, you wrote a book about, hang on, let's just pause and think, was it about you? Yeah, no, no, do you know what? You're out of order. You're out of order. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. You're out of order. Well, I wrote two books about me. About you. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me. Yeah, the first one was such a success, <coughs> I wrote a second one. You sort of sat down and thought, I'm going to write about what can I write? Write what I know. They say write yeah, about what you know, so I wrote about that's, me. That's was it true. sort of a, a somewhat like Kez? I started life in a difficult part of the world, clawing my way out of poverty, etc., etc. <laughs> You've read it, yeah? It, 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 pretty yeah. much. Okay, yeah, well, I, I can imagine the Werther's original tune at the back of it. <laughs> much, yeah. uh, it's a theme to Hovis advert. Yes, like, I mean. Right, now, right, here's right. what I was going to say. If, because you keep promising and under-delivering, mm -hmm. um, me and Tiff often share texts to that extent. I think that I'm going to add £250 to my own um, uh, charity uh, website, Rinders Run, alongside the army, celebrating the army. Come every, you, know, you, I think, genuinely do love the army, and I think lots of people yeah. in our nation do, and I think um, it's one of the things we know little about, we take it for granted, so let's not. I'm going to add £250 if you finally relent and take me up to Leeds as promised. We go to the pub together, we go to the football oh, and we have a great. wonderful time alongside one another and we can have a sort of independent Leeds folk determine who's more um, local and working class, you or me. That sounds great. I think that's, that's a splendid wonderful. idea. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's 250 pounds. We'll do it. Okay, that's Where am I going to take you in Leeds? Well, would you like to go to a game? I'd like to go to Leeds United game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm, yeah. Look, I'm not bringing him to Ellen Road. Oh, it'd be incredible. I like Ellen Road. I've been, I have, no, I've not. Can been. you imagine <laughs> the songs that the Leeds United fans are going to sing? It's going to. Where's your gavel? You know, well, that would be worse. That, well, no, it would be worse. <laughs> <laughs> it would be worse. <gasps> this is a fantastic idea. Mm. Do you still support Leeds or have you changed your religion? No, of course Since you've become rich. Or Manchester United or something. <laughs> Please! Please do Please not cool. insult me like that. It's so bizarre, you know. anyway. Why is that bizarre? I'm from Leeds. Here's the rule. Mm. Right, if you want to be a football fan, if you want to support a club, you get, you get a map of where you were born. Mm -hmm. You get a ruler, you find the nearest club to where you were born, and that's the club you support. End of. Game over. That's <laughs> it. I was born in Leeds, I support Leeds, that's it. I think it's a rare moment of agreement between you and me. There you are. I Dominic, you feel the same. Yeah, where were you born? Born in Norwich, support Liverpool. It's the yeah. same thing. It's <laughs> well, the same thing. <laughs> yeah, well, they weren't good, weren't they? Um, no, they were. I used to collect... Uh, I didn't move to Liverpool, to be fair. Norwich were, you know, they were yeah, they first were division. For a while, they were. The right. canary. I um, used yeah. to have Panini football sticker books. You know, you used to yeah. collect them. Stay with me, and um, you used to do swaps in the playground. Yeah. But I used to collect them and put them in order of attractiveness. Oh, did you? So I had an wow. entire. Do you remember, um, Jan Mulby used to play for yes. Liverpool. Yes, mm. he was great. He Jan was Mulby. really good and, and and extremely handsome. But like lots of poor Scandinavians, and aged terribly. Well, actually. <laughs> good morning, Jan. Yeah, morning, Jan. No, I mean very sweet. What a it's, right foot he had. Very Bob. careful about that sort of thing because, mm. but like a building in France, and no doubt you have several of them. Yeah, um, you know, it's lovely to look at in the bloom of spring, but as the summer comes, the roof falls off and that sort of... Look at the scars guards, you know, the younger one's beautiful and the older one mm. looks like it's falling to bits. I don't know what you're on about. You're an exact one to wear. Anyway, so I used to collect Liverpool um, Jan Mulbys. Right. Yeah. But the I don't remember anybody Jan from Leeds. But Norwich, yeah, they were yeah, first Norwich, division for, they were, for a while. Absolutely, they were great. And remember then. Delia, let's be having you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you come to a Tottenham Sorry, game with me. Let me hear your impression of Delia again one more time. <laughs> let's be having you. Oh, wow. That is, it's it, just like we've been transported back to Norwich. It's uncanny. It's mm. uncanny. Isn't it? Let's be having you. Do you, still, still, do you still say bath? What? Do you still say bath or bath? Yeah, because that's how you say it. Where are you? <laughs> Oh, there's Rob Rinder. <laughs> <laughs> it is bath, that's how you say it. You say bath. Um, what, what else? What, else, what other words do we... Do grass. Grass. So you grass. say grass. You say grass. Yeah. You say bath. We, we, Pippa and I and Jay. Well, no, well, James, you're a bath and a bath. grass on you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We're grass and bath. We're bath. Yeah. 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 Grass, yeah. Right, here's what we're going to do before we, uh, b before I joyfully kick him out of the studio. What are you doing for the rest of the day? I'm going, I'm going to my chambers after this, actually, to do a, a meeting. Mm. You're not chambers anymore. I am. You don't I work am. there I anymore, teach. love. You don't. Yeah. They don't. They just let you because they feel sorry for you. Ridiculous. They're like, oh, God, she's back again. <laughs> she left here in 2012. Does she not remember? 13. No, I still teach, and I've um, just got an honorary doctorate from um, UCL. You should... Oh, lovely. Thank you. That's very kind of you. So, see, what are you thanking him for? It's an honorary doctorate. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It does. It's a certificate. Thank you. It's, it's, like when you, it's not even like when you get a certificate for swimming a length. <laughs> Have you got one of those? Yes, I have, actually. What certificates have you got? One for swimming a length mm -hmm. and one for swimming a width. <laughs> <laughs> and I picked up a brick from the bottom of the swimming pool. In, in a pair pajamas. of pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, you know, oh. just in case I have a fall off a boat with a brick <laughs> in my jammies. <laughs> and they go, we need that brick back! Do you feel different now that you're 50? I mean, what, what's changed? Mm, 30. 30. But look, what's changed? Did you sort of have a moment and have you got more wise, more beautiful? What do you hope for the next? If I was more wise, you wouldn't be sitting here in the studio, would we? Hmm. What Let's, is it? Like, what? what wisdom have you got to share? I was wondering this. I've got any wisdom. I've got a bad knee. Do, do, do you want to know? That it's all it's all downhill from here. I look at Dominic every day, and I think, mm. Jesus, is this my future? This oh, is it. Thank you. The guy bends over to pick up a dog poo when he's out for the dog walk, and he puts his back out. This is it. It's all it's downhill nice. from here. This I disagree. I think this could be your best decade. I see musicals in our future. Call me that. <laughs> Certainly not in a Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> right, I want to try and get you some, um, some, Thank you. some people to sponsor you. And the army, and the you know, yeah. I, you know. If you've enjoyed, and there must be something wrong with you, if you've enjoyed this chat with Robert Rinder, why don't you give him some of your hard-earned gyro? The army benevolent fund, it's not going to me, I'm not siphoning it off. No. <laughs> if you've got an it's iPhone, this is so easy. Right, oh, so if you go go now, open up, go, uh, Robert... No. Did you can you mention again it's the hardest marathon in the world, rather than you is it undermining though? it with your silliness? Is it, though? Earlier. Isn't that the one that that woman just did in 60 hours? Isn't that harder? No, this is harder. Right, okay. It um, goes up to 36 degrees heat during the daytime. Ooh. Yeah. Across the Sahara. Right, sh I'm going to do the plug. Okay, because you'd raised two and a half thousand pounds, which is embarrassing. Well, let's, started let's at least woman. get it over three. Rinder's Run. Type in Rinder's Run now on your phone. Mm -hmm. Rinder's Run in Google. All right, and then see the Just Giving page, that comes up. When you when it comes up, you see Rinder's Run, you see a picture of a man running through the desert that they've made it to look a bit like Rob Rinder. <laughs> um, he's running for the Army Benevolent Fund. See where it says Give Now, press that button, and then whatever, if you can give a ten... Two pound, what can you get for two pound? You wouldn't know. Let's do five or ten. How much is the price of bread? Too much, no. What? The price of bread, gone. Please, I know how much bread is. Come on, I'm not telling you. Yeah. So, five pound or ten pound. I'm, get, I'm getting money for you here. I'm grafting like you should be doing rather than sitting there drinking your camp water, whatever it is. You pay no water. Me. Um, five pound or ten pound you can give. And it goes to, it does, none of it goes to Rob Render because he doesn't deserve it. Because he's posh enough as it is. He's proper posh. He gets out the bath for a wee. And he's never used a dishwasher in his life. Well, he has. She's called Maureen. <laughs> and then Maureen. what you do is, you, if you can do gift aid, do gift aid as well. And then write a message, such, something along the lines of, you'll never do it. You're going to fall. You're going to die in the desert. That's oh. a nice one. No, I think that's good. <laughs> no, no. Somebody once no. got lost on this, and the only way they survived was eating, um, was killing bats and eating. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. it's, a, it's, it's real risk. I mean, yeah. sort of similar, really, to being Look up, in the ITV up. jungle. And it has a sort of similar uh, vibe, you know, only there were lots of producers there and... I There's no one there. So, I bear watching you on Render's there. Run. It's terrible at plugging the thing that you're here to plug. Render's Run, everyone give him, give him a couple of quid and then hopefully he'll pipe down. And then, listen, if you want to keep going, if you feel like you do it, like you want to keep running and running and running yeah. across the desert like Forrest Gump, you go, just do it, just don't stop, it. keep going. Why did you <laughs> judiciously or injudiciously ignore my offer to add uh, quite a bit of money myself to spend... A day with you in Leeds. There you go, by the Thank way. Thank you. Well done. Thank it's you. It's a less embarrassing well thing now. Thank Over you. three thousand pounds. Thank you, Christopher Moyles. <laughs> yeah, that's extremely above averagely kind for you. Yeah. You've done something for charity. Maybe they'll give you some species of award. And some people, you, you, you deserve it for services to broadcasting, and you make people. What did you get your world. MBE for? Um, for Holocaust education. Yeah. I mean, all right, mm. fair enough. I know. Fair enough. I can't, can't really make any it. jokes about that. Can no, I? no, there's not many. I'm afraid. Yeah. Let's jog on, I think. <laughs> we have got, literally. Yes. We have got Billy Piper now waiting. Thank God for that. Billy yeah, Piper's that. here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love talk to who. What's she going to talk to you about? Be kind. What? Be kind to people. And oh, I'm no, this, woman, this woman's got a proper skill. She's a, a fine actress. She's a, a brilliant actress and a lovely person. You could learn a lot from her. I want a cuddle before I leave. From Billy, not from a you. Give you away from <laughs> I want a big cuddle right. and um, I also want mm. a date for our date. I okay. promise and under deliver every How time. about... Come on. March 26th. March... What, uh, uh, March 26th, 7 o'clock dinner. That, that's today, isn't it? No, it, it's a year, in a year's time. <laughs> <It's too laughs> oh. You love me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you when you leave. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, and thank God, Mr. Robert Rinder. Yeah.
More wacky and wonderful Wednesday broadcasting brilliance oh. on the Chris Moyle Show. Exhausted, dumb. Man. Born and bred in a lovely place called Swindon, Billy Piper is chatting to Chris and the team shortly. Plus, on tomorrow's show, you could be winning a big pile of cash. Oh. 5,000 pounds could be yours. Oh. But right now, hold on to your hats, folks. This next song will blow your mind. I never play this, so I'm going to play for our boss, Matt Deverson. Just for you, Devo. Fake Tales of San Francisco, Arctic Monkeys. I'm exhausted after that chat with the old render MBE. It's just, it's just like, it's just not a fair fight because you right. know, he can't match my intellectual wit <laughs> with his stupid, small, tiny, puny brain. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you know. this thing very much enjoyed that. They really very much enjoyed me yeah. beating him down with my big words because he's like so dumb on that. It's like a national sport for people, isn't it? Just yeah. listening to you two go It's not a fair fight, Dom. It's not a fair yeah. fight. It's not a fair fight. It's David and Goliath, isn't it? <laughs> and I'm both. Uh, it's 9.21. I'm so looking forward to Billy Piper. He's going to be on the show very soon. The Chris Miles Show. We'll be right back. The Chris Moyle Show. With the Skoda Kamek. Jump in to their latest compact SUV. Clock off with Johnny Vaughan. This afternoon from 4. When we're with you on the drive home, you will welcome the slow traffic. You'll want it, because it means we get to spend more time together. So go on, tuck in behind that bus. Get the latest travel info at radiox.co.uk. Sometimes running a business can feel like swimming upstream in Siberia. Welcome. With a bear clinging onto your leg. But Zero Online Accounting Software can help you manage the ins and outs of your finances in real time. So you can keep them running smoothly. Soon it will feel more like you're going down a water slide. Your turn. In a rubber ring. Or being serenaded by a string quartet. Search Zero with an X. Because healthy business is beautiful business. Radio and The Chris Miles Show. If you like those adverts, wait till you get a load of this next song. Yeah. Oh, I'm so looking forward to actually having a guest in the studio that I like. <laughs> you know, that's I can't wait. Right. That was wonderful. Um, Rob was great, wasn't My it? highlight was sponsoring him two pounds <laughs> <laughs> with my comment, you're never going to do it. And gift aid. Uh, yeah, 50p gift aid. Yeah. No, I did a proper donation as well. Yeah. So and if you did give some money, thank you very much. <laughs> Liam Gallagher, John Squire, raise your hands. 929. Robert Rinder, by the way, is running across the, the Sahara Desert to try and raise money. Every time I went to try and plug the page, he's kept yeah. interrupting me. Oh, look at you. Oh, get your nails done. Blah, blah. <laughs> and um, he'd raised £2,400 before he'd come into yes. the years. £2,400, by the way. I'd make more money if I sold James. <laughs> um, nice. Anyway, um, £1,000 has now come in from our oh, fabulous listeners. Thanks, everybody, if That's you gave brilliant. some money. Hopefully, he'll keep on running. And then, I like uh, when he said that. We'll just never hear from him running. again. Don't stop. Yeah, keep just keep running. going. Do you know what, though? It's tough. That's a tough, tough run he's going Yes, it is. It really yeah. is. Rather him than me. Yeah. Thanks for it, but I don't want to do it. Right, finally, I guess I could enjoy Billy Piper.